Richards with Oak and Fire Rhythms. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how I tie this beautiful clean handle. It's a really neat little handle. I'm not the first one to do this, um, but when I saw someone do it, I beat my head against it until I figured it out. So today I'm going to share with you how I do it. All right. So I've got this lovely little beauty ready to go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is figure out where I want to put it. Normally I'll put it opposite the playing side so that you're not going to interfere with any strapping or anything. So this is the playing area, so I'm going to play opposite that. And here's where I have this nice, beautiful uh, light spot in the wood here. So we're going to center it on that. And here's the spine. So I'm going to do these two right here. I've got a piece of rope handy. Usually I'll use an eight foot piece of rope. Uh, this is one eighth inch because I want to do a slightly more dainty handle on here. So I'm going to pick these two. So I'm going to start here. So I do as I, I go in over from the top. And then what I'll just put enough rope here to make like one cradle type of knot. So I'll go over, in, I'll go under, in, and there's a good placeholder to keep hold us where we want to be. So then I'm going to go in again from the top. Please excuse the road noise. It's uh, Sunday morning on a holiday weekend. Everybody's out and about. But you don't really need to hear me to see what's going on here. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing as another cradle knot. I'm going to go over and, and then under. Now right now I'm not really going to worry about how big my handle is because I can always adjust it at the end, tighten it up or loosen it with the spare I've got down here. Okay, so here we are at the end and uh, looks like I'm a little, I got a little extra there. I want to take out some of that because I think that's about right there. So I'm going to loosen this knot, the original knot. And I'll just take that slack right out there. Now what I'll do is I'll place a little super glue right where the ropes are going to back up there so that they're not. <laughs> so I'll give that just a minute to let the super glue dry and then you just come back and trim these about a quarter inch or so away from the end and just burn the ends and you'll be able to tuck those in and you won't even see the ends. So that's the trick to making that clean handle. And here we are, there's the finished product. All straightened out. And the whole thing there. I'm gonna show you the underside, which normally you won't see in photos, but there's the tie off. It's kind of hard to even see it, it blends right in. But you saw how I finished the knot, so. This is Sean Richards with Oak and Fire Rhythms. Please go to our website, oakandfirerhythms.com, or shop our ready to ship items on our Etsy store, slash Oak and Fire Rhythms. Thanks for watching.